all. It is such a pleasure to be here in Moncure. I have a lot of fond memories of Moncure, um, not only from going to high school with some of you that may be sitting in the audience. And Northwood in the 19, early 1980s had about, we had about 105 to 110 people in our graduating class, really small. So we were thrilled when the Moncure kids came to join us and we got to go to school together. And I also used to come here with my dad, Dr. Noah Wilson, who was a dentist and retired at age 80 about five years ago. Um, and we used to make house calls over this way. And I spent some time in people's kitchens with a flashlight while my dad put a temporary crown in someone's mouth. <laughs> I won't say who um, here in this community. But some of my earliest memories are here in Moncure. Um, I remember with my dad, some of us piling into his pickup truck and driving around before they started to get prepared for Jordan Lake. We're talking about 1972, 1973 and talking with some of his patients who were about to lose their land and have to move because they were getting ready to fill in Jordan Lake. And that made a, quite an impression on me. And I know that there are some big changes coming up here in this community with Chatham Park. And however you feel about Chatham Park, I know that means change for Moncure. And I've had you on my mind, and I'm thinking about the school here because I know you have a very special school. And I look forward to talking with some of you after this and as time goes on and hearing what your thoughts are about your school and about the changes here. Um, I grew up in Chatham County, and like Robert Reeves, I went off to UNC Chapel Hill and graduated and came right back. Um, I s have lived in Chatham County for over 40 years. Most of my adult life has been spent here, and most of my working life has been here. I care very much about public education. You know, North Carolina in the 1960s, when the decade I was born, was one of the poorest states in the Union, right there with Alabama, Mississippi, and the others. And because our leaders valued public education and saw the connection to technology and the arts later, we were able to lift ourselves out of poverty and become the shining example to the rest of the state, the rest of the country. Um, so we have so much to be proud of in our Chatham County schools, and I will defend and protect public education. I also care very much about our kids and our teachers. I have spent the last 15 years working with families all across the county to end family violence. I'm the director of our Shelter for Women and Children. I have experience collaborating on the ground level with many of our county agencies and nonprofits to try and solve real problems families face. I was funded by the Partnership for Children. I also um, worked on our Safe and Smart Start initiatives for kids zero to eight and zero to five and their parents to help the kids heal from trauma. And I feel a kindred spirit to teachers because I know firsthand some of the many challenges teachers face with the kids that come in their door. They do a whole lot more than teaching. They carry a lot on their shoulders. And I want to support them with the challenges they face so that they can teach well and reach our kids because our kids need us. And I believe public education is our greatest investment in this county. So um, I also feel a kindred spirit to teachers because my mother was a kindergarten teacher when I was growing up and an elementary school guidance counselor. And later she, she became a county commissioner, Betty Wilson. But I heard all sorts of stories all growing up about what teachers were facing. And I care about them and I want to advocate for teachers and for our children. Um, I also have experience um, collaborating and, and working on state level um, strategic planning. Um, I also have served on state task force for, for people with disabilities and people with mental illness and, and teen dating violence um, and want to work on the safety in our schools um, as well. Um, I used to facilitate our county criminal justice task force for four years and I received state recognition for my work with that task force and bringing more people on board. I managed the programmatic aspects of a grant through the county that worked with all three law enforcement agencies to better respond to families in crisis. Um, around the issue of violence. Um, I've also done some work directly with kids. I was an elementary school assistant teacher in first grade. I also taught English as a second language on weekends to teenagers. Um, I have, um, I've worked in Tyler City I, in my free time, co-designed a bullying prevention program that was for middle school kids, peer-based art space that they took to Jordan Matthews. And I've worked with teenage girls from Jordan Matthews and helped them get scholarships to teen um, youth summits at the state level, and two of them got scholarships to go to an international youth summit. So I had direct involvement. I've trained 
uh, the Orange County schools in safety after there was a domestic violence homicide on their campus. Y'all might remember the news when a mother got shot on the campus of one of the schools and I went in to help train the schools on how to respond to that and develop a safety plan. So I care about a myriad of issues and I bring state level experience. I worked at our state legislature um, years ago for the um, House Committee on Finance and I also worked for Terry Sanford many years ago in my 20s and served on his staff, one of our great education governors. I want to give my service back to my community because I love this county with all my heart and I am grateful for what public education did for me all my 12 years here in Chatham County. It's had a lasting impact on me and I saw it happen with some of my classmates. What a difference our teachers made. So I want to serve. I hope that you will give me your vote. It's an open seat. Um, so thank you for considering me for that seat. I really appreciate it. Nice to see you all.